Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. Yes, Lord. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. Psalms 139. The last few weeks we've been having unusual angelic activities in our midst and every time there is an unusual activity of angels it is because of prophetic things that the Lord is doing in the midst of his people hallelujah thank you if there is any if there is any prayer I have for you Is that nothing will take his place in your life if there is any prayer I won't pray for you for a car or for a house or for a husband those things are, I will insult you if I pray for you for those things when you have him I'm telling you you have everything you see many of you may sit down you're wondering why why does it look like God is all? It's one thing to be born again, but it's another thing to be addicted. Totally, totally, totally. Where you are not just giving him your hands or your lips, but he takes a hold of your life. You're not just saying, Lord, this is a portion of my heart, but he has everything. If he's not Lord of all, then he's not even interested in being Lord. And this is what we seek to cultivate in our hearts. Your intimacy with the Holy Spirit will make many things happen for you in life. See, let me tell you something. If many people ever knew that the secret of what they were looking for is hidden in the person of the Holy Spirit, men will stop chasing after shadows do you know that the holy spirit made jesus the christ do you know that the holy spirit empowered the patriarchs and the prophets of old see i want the holy spirit to be real to you he's not just some textbook or some wind or fire the Holy Spirit is a person. When you know him, you are the greatest man in the universe. I'll forever be chasing after you. I'll be chasing after you. Forever. 
Lord, I'll forever be chasing after you. When men chase after so many things, I'll be chasing after you. This is my commitment. That I'll forever be chasing after you. I'll be chasing after you. Hallelujah. I have a message tonight that I pray will touch your heart. And cause you to love God like never before. Hallelujah. Tonight I want us to pray. So I'll just teach very briefly. I'm teaching tonight on what I title the evidence of genuine intimacy with God the evidence of genuine intimacy the evidence our call as believers listen to me please listen let me say it loud and clear to the hearing of everyone God's priority in life listen his priority for you is not to give you a certificate or a husband or a wife or a car or breakthrough or marriage he wants to bless you with all of these things but listen to me his priority is that you will know him the primary call of a believer is that you conform to the stature the character the fullness of the measure of Christ this is what the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 10 to 12 it was on account of this assignment he gave gifts unto men some apostles prophets teachers evangelists pastors for the equipping of the saints that they the saints will come into this oneness hallelujah if your priority listen if your pursuit for god is tied to anything other than him there is a rude disappointment waiting for you at the end of the journey i assure you hallelujah There's so many people who chase God because of the problems in their families or the, the, the challenges in society or fear because of the insecurity. But you must pursue him for who he is. So our call, write it, our call as Christians is to number one, conform conform to the character the stature the nature to conform and then number two in partnership with the holy spirit to be an extension of the ministry of jesus upon the earth in partnership with the holy spirit this is why we call this koinonia intimacy our intimacy with the Holy Spirit brings us to a place of oneness. We know his ways. Listen, listen. The greatest thing you should celebrate in Koinonia is not the miracles. Thank God for the wonderful miracles and the works of Jesus. But did you know that a man can just have gifts and really not know God? The Bible says he showed his way to Moses, but his act to the nation of Israel we live in a generation where men and women are captivated and there's a place for the miraculous it's God's biblical tool for publicity that men will come and see what Jesus is doing of his acts to know him this is where the men are separated from the boys because knowing God comes with a price it's not cheap it's not free it will constrain you and it will cost you something it will cost you to lay aside your ambition. It will cost you to lay aside a lot of things. 
because he will not share his place with any other but when you do happy are you because in it you will find life you will find true fulfillment hallelujah I've always wondered why certain people seem to have a depth of intimacy with the Holy Spirit when you come around them you are captured immediately by a hunger for God hallelujah there are certain people like that they must not be praying once you come around just the circumference of their presence there is a hunger that captures you you go back crying their presence introduces a reality the existence of a personality they give life to this mystery called god in the earth realm when you look at them the way they speak there's something about their life they don't look like humans they may even be cracking jokes but there is a oneness there is an evidence hallelujah there are several believers that claim they know the holy spirit we live in a generation where everyone believes they know the holy spirit but then if i know pastor jakes there should be an evidence of our friendship and our oneness is that correct there's no evidence in the life of many believers that they have genuine intimacy with the holy spirit we talk we sing we call his name take your place take your place who is the yo who is the person you are talking about let me tell you something many people do not desire to really know god beyond the nominal level of christianity and the average christian in nigeria has a crippled understanding and desire for god there's no platform to put a fire for god the average church in this country teaches us that once you just know the basic principles of god that are responsible for getting life moving on that's all right and while that is true and that is good those are the fundamentals and sometimes we run into the mistake of camping around the god who was but we forget that there are other dimensions the god who is and even the one who is to come he said holy is the lord god who was but he didn't just stop in his greatness of yesterday he's ever unfolding and he requires that men begin to seek him the god who is a revelation of that which he seeks to communicate to his people in the now and that there is more to come in ezekiel ezekiel saw the cherubims crying holy right until revelation in the isle of patmos john saw them and they had not stopped how many hundreds of years they were still calling because every time they will see a new dimension of him that will compel them to worship. And so it's very sad when you see the average Christian in Nigeria, there is this coldness. I'm not talking of backsliding. I'm talking of a lack of passion and a desire to see that there can be more in God. Hallelujah. So many people sit down and we are satisfied with where we are. And even when we sing songs like More of You, when we sing songs like I Love You, when we sing songs like Show Me More, you know, all these kinds of things, we really do not mean it from the depth of our hearts. You know why? Because there is no evidence. There is no evidence. The Lord began to talk to me. And he said, son, there should be evidence. Evidence. Listen, if you know how majestic the presence of God is, let me tell you something. There must be a signature upon your life. 
that you are a man of his presence this is what brings the anointing of the holy ghost many people try to look for the anointing now without the holy spirit himself hallelujah but god designed it in such a way that authentic grace is a derivative of your intimacy with the holy spirit is your reward for encountering him when angels begin to manifest in this place there is an evidence in the earth realm that shows that there are angelic activities and so i i am very disturbed about a believer who is seemingly born again and filled with the holy ghost seemingly progressing in god and then there is no evidence hallelujah so many people sing all kinds of songs so many people pray for hours so many people spend time roaming around but there is no evidence in their lives if jakes has a perfume and i hug him and i hold him or i wear his clothes for long is it true that when i pass you you will know hallelujah shouldn't there be a fragrance of his majesty shouldn't there be a deposit a leftover a sign that you were with him the bible says the disciples were with jesus to the point that their physical appearances were altered judas had to use a kiss to identify who was jesus among them they had come into oneness koinonia the bible says when they saw peter speaking to the jerusalem council they looked at him and they said is this not a fisherman but he had assumed a level of oneness with his master that he had begun to manifest like him how many of you have seen two people who are together a protege and a mentor and later you see him begin to talk like that person act like that person that is a symbol hallelujah you can just hear a man of god preach and you know this is a pastor in living faith or this is a pastor in deeper life there is an evidence i'm asking you a question tonight what is your evidence what evidence do you have to convince the world that you are truly a man that has the presence of God upon your life. There must be a genuine evidence. If it is true that your prayer is to God Almighty, if it is true that you love Him the way you sing, if it is true that you have passion, should there not be a signature in your life that demonstrates to the world the name Christian was an encapsulation that was giving us an evidence a symbol certain people behave like jesus so much so that they were given a name christians every sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday we have millions of people all over nigeria trooping to different churches different camps different um 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 places of worship auditoriums and you ask them where are you going to they say i'm going to worship they've been doing that for years 10 years 20 years they've given birth to children but you look at their life there is no evidence of genuine intimacy they pray in tongues they call his name they stand on stage and we preachers do it you say holy spirit the one i know the one I love. But there is a distance in between you and the person you are talking about. Have you seen anybody claim to know a stranger? And the way the person is talking, you know this person is not used to this stranger. Or this person is not used to the person he's talking about. Many people truly do not know the Holy Spirit. Because when you know him, I used to hear Catherine Kuhlman cry. Benny Hinn said it. That Catherine Kuhlman used to cry. And say he's all that I have. He's my best friend. It doesn't make sense. Until you have encountered him. Listen let me tell you something. When Jesus appeared to me. I knew why the apostles loved him to death. Hallelujah. I knew why these guys ran with a passion for God. 
the bible says even in hebrews 11 that some people had the opportunity to escape but they refused as a demonstration of their commitment to him what is your evidence we sing beautiful songs about his presence and his majesty beautiful songs breathe on me i look to you for life breathe on me i look to you for life every time you're singing people know if you really know the person you are talking about you can come and sing you can come and shout you can come and preach you can jump around but i'm telling you the truth there is an evidence and tonight i'm going to show you we'll be examining from our from god's word and i trust that this brief examination will create a passion in us because at the end of it some of us will find out that we need to go back into the place of genuine hunger we either left god on the way in pursuit for many things hallelujah there must be an evidence the first thing that happens when you begin to expose yourself to the presence and the glory of God in the glory I will stand I will stand and lift my hands in the glory I'll receive every miracle you have for me it's in your glory i will stand lord i will stand and i will lift my hands in your glory I'll receive every miracle that you have for me. So take my heart and mold it. Take my mind. This is my prayer, Lord. Transform it. Take my will tonight, conform it to yours, to yours, oh Lord. This is our prayer tonight. Take our hearts and mold it. Take our minds, Lord. Transform. Take our will, conform it to yours, say to yours, to yours, oh Lord. The Bible calls him, it says that God is light and in him there is no shadow of turning. So when you truly step into the light of his glory, listen, the first evidence listen is that there is an exposition of the true state of your heart there is an unveiling there is a revealing of who you truly are in the light of him until you go to his presence whatever you call yourself you are telling lies his presence the bible says that he is the revealer the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Until you have encountered the glory of God, you truly do not know your true state. Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1, the Bible says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, although a prophet, I saw the Lord. He said, when I saw the Lord, I saw him high and lifted up. And the train of his robe filled the temple. And the Bible says, when Isaiah saw these things, he said, woe is me. 
If anyone had told him before that encounter that woe is you, Isaiah, he would have insulted the person. But the glory of God reveals the true state that men cannot see, that pulpit can hide. Are you listening to me? That suits can hide, that grammar and English can hide. The glory of God opens up the true you and reveals to you the true state of your heart. This is how you know one who is a man with intimacy with the Holy Ghost. He exposes the state of your heart and brings you to a point where you find out that you truly are inadequate without him. Regardless of what your revelation of your authority is, you come to a point where you realize that God, if you do not have mercy on me, then I am a dead man without you. This is what brings these kinds of songs. All about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. For many years I was preaching, doing great things, signs and wonders and miracles. But the day Jesus appeared to me, I think for over a period of one year, I was not myself. It was as if I was the most filthy person on the earth. Now, it's impossible to describe some of these things. His majestic presence. When you stand before him and see him in the beauty of his holiness. His majestic presence. It does something to you. You will never be the same. Let me tell you something. No matter how hardened you are. No matter how hardened you are. The human spirit was designed to respond to the majestic presence of his maker. And if you truly encounter his presence, something will happen radically in your life. This issue of coming to church and loving God and not seeing a need for change and adjustment is a sign of the absence of the presence of God. Hallelujah. Psalms 139. Let's look at a few scriptures. I want to be very brief so we can pray. This is not a teaching, really. It's just an exhortation. Psalms 139 verse 23. The psalmist, a man who we know to be a man of his presence, had this to say. 139 verse 23. Search me, O God. Stop. Look up. Do you know what it takes for a man to open up himself and say, God, probe me. In this country, when they told politicians that they want to probe them and find out their accounts, did they agree? You know the level of honesty and brokenness it takes for a king to open up himself before God and say, Lord, search me. He says, search me, oh God. I'm not hiding it from you. Search me. People can call me names. People can call me a great person. But before you search me, this is an evidence. An evidence of genuine intimacy with the presence of God. That consistently you are aware of your inadequacy. Not unto guilt and condemnation. Are you listening to me? But unto a passion imparting upon you reverence and genuine respect for his majesty. Is that an evidence in your life? If that has not happened in your life, then you see that there is no genuine intimacy with the Holy Spirit like you claim. There is no hiding it. This is a clear universal litmus test. It should work for everybody. Because the more you see him, the Bible says you are changed. But for you to be changed, God will show you your present state and compare it with his own. And you will be compelled. Man only embraces change if you show him that what he's about to embrace is greater than what he's living. Otherwise, he will not live it. Hallelujah. So you must see a higher light. The Bible says when Saul was on his way to Damascus, full of passion, he was going to go and kill the Christians. 
the Bible says a light a light appeared to him in an instant Saul said Lord he called him Lord that's the byproduct of an encounter that a man who has been hardened who went to collect permission to kill people in a moment this is what happens when an unbeliever comes to sit down in a place if that environment has genuine intimacy with the holy spirit it should not leave that person the same you see the reason why many christians do not have a genuine fire for god we sit around unbelievers and there is no sign whatsoever so it's either god is not there or there's something wrong with us hallelujah jesus met the samaritan woman just sitting with her in a little conversation what happened the glory of God wrapped her in such a way and a manner. The Bible says she even forgot about the issue of fetching water and ran to the city and began to say, come and see a man who has told me all about me. The presence of God. The glory of God. A symbol that your heart is open at all times and you say, Lord, search my heart. In other words, I'm ready to listen to anything you tell me. If you tell me that there is lust hidden in my heart is true, you are not a liar. If you tell me that there is a state of wickedness hidden in my heart, you are true. Hallelujah. It takes a level of genuine brokenness and love for God to come to a point where God can probe your life and you are not ashamed of what the result of his findings will be. Because we live in a world of psychophancy and lies. Are you listening to me? Men have itching ears wanting to hear only what they want. It takes men who love God genuinely. Especially for those of us in ministry. When you are in ministry, a lot of times our churches are full of liars and psychophants. Men who always want to say everything. The man of God is stealing. He's a wonderful, lovely man of God. The man of God is declaring a counsel that is not consistent with God. He's a wonderful man of God. The man of God is sleeping around and doing everything. He's a wonderful man of God. Because it's, it takes a level of brokenness. And here the psalmist shows us one symbol, one evidence of a genuine encounter with the presence of God. Search me, O oh God. And know my heart. You know what it means? Commune with my heart. It's the same word that used for a man knowing a woman. Know my heart. Relate with my heart. Oh God, I want to know what your verdict is concerning my heart. It says, and if there is any wicked way in me, it says what? Lead me out of it. This is the first evidence of a genuine encounter. Genuine intimacy. When your intimacy with the Holy Ghost is genuine, this is one of the evidences that should show. Let me tell you something. A man of the secret place will never struggle with a habit or challenge for long. You watch him. You see something you don't like in a few months, he's gone. That's a symbol that is a man that understands the power of intimacy with the Holy Spirit because if you truly have a secret place and you have ears to hear because some people don't have ears the Bible says he that has an ear that means some people don't have it he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church many of us have been so hardened towards the dealings of God every time we go to pray listen and you see this affects your kind of prayer we must graduate from this childish need driven christianity and step into a place of genuine maturity that will bring us power and grace god i pray for myself i pray for my mother i pray for my father i pray for my this i pray for my dad lord do this and that if my auntie doesn't give me money she won't sleep i command arrows of restlessness what kind of thing is that that's the average petition of the church listen let me tell you something if that is the kind of heritage we want to pass to our children then the church is going to have a serious problem in the next five to ten years hallelujah John Knox prayed over Scotland and he turned and was not talking about himself. He said, Lord, give me Scotland or I die. This is someone's prayer point. Give me Scotland or I die. 
that's a level of brokenness and intimacy with the holy spirit where god's own need becomes your driving force not no longer your own you have so traded away your personal desire and passion to take up that of his majesty and that becomes your prayer point all you are concerned about in the place of prayer is lord what is your heartbeat and i will run in synchrony hallelujah you go and read many books that are written on prayer. Very few of them are written on prayer for matured believers. Most of them is just how to get your needs met. Which is wonderful. But let me tell you something. You cannot tie your pursuit for God on just your needs being met. No, God is bigger than that. This is the reason why many people's Christianity does not last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day you are checking an album and you see your father's picture and you see that he was the prayer secretary of one fellowship in 1971. And there's the man in the beer parlor now. What happened? Because the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Faulty foundation. Christianity that is a, a derivative of hunger, not genuine passion. And that's the platform on which many altar calls are made in Nigeria. Hallelujah. And so we tell people, come. This is an end to all your sorrow. Listen to me. I hope you know, I believe in the works of Jesus Christ. I believe in the blessings that come. We preach it here. But this is not God's priority. God's priority is that men will come out of a sincere need for God in their lives. That's the kind of salvation that will last. When you tell someone to come, and you are giving him a bet that after six months his life will change and he gives his life to christ and there is someone in their family dies after two weeks he begins to question your your bait to the kingdom hallelujah and you promise the person that the wave is five or six carryover courses and his final result came out and we were still on the board and he has to take it again at that point the person does not see a need to pursue god again you see that because you have you have brought god to be an errand boy whose job is to go and bring things according to our lust and those are the kinds of people the bible says that god cannot commit the true riches of heaven because they will disappoint God. They are the kind of people that will never walk in authentic power. You know why? It will destroy them. Hear me. I tell you the truth. If you truly, truly want to walk in glory, you must open up your heart for God to search. I do this all the time. People call me names. People say a lot of good things. Thank God for that. I receive text messages all the time. Sometimes I pick up the text messages and I drop it on the floor. And I lie down on the carpet. I say, Lord, this is deceitful because it's not true. Affect my life. Breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life. Breathe on me. I look to you for life. That you refuse to let see at that point the words and the commendations of men have no hold over your life again whether they call you bishop stan or apostle stan or prophet stan or whatever it is those things have no hold over you that means he has had your heart lord i give you my heart Many people gave him his hands. Some gave him some fingers. Some gave him one part of their ears. The other part is in Babylon. One has entered. Every breath that I take. Every moment I'm away. See, those that wrote these songs were not looking for money. They were not trying to produce album to look for money. They had a genuine passion and out of the overflow of their personal hunger they wanted to infect the world with that hunger in an attempt to bring men to the realm that they were relating with god in. 
But right now, we have all kinds of people singing these songs. And you know that their hearts are not open. Let me tell you something. The first evidence of an open heart is the complete destruction of pride. The first evidence that you have opened up your heart. Because pride is usually hinged on something you know or you can do. The moment you open your heart, the first thing God does is to kick out anything that is not him. Have your way in me. That you open up your heart and say, Lord, men call me a great man, but what is your, what is your analysis? Hallelujah. Men call you a great servant of God. Men call you a great this and that. Great this and that. You see, let me tell you something. In all sincerity, I know I can't stop it, but I fear greatly when people begin to give all kinds of commendations because those things can be deceitful. Listen. The greatest enemy of success is the last one you had, not failure. Failure has never made anybody a failure. Failure always gives you reason to move higher. But the last success you had brings about complacency and a sense of relaxation. Any man who is a man of intimacy with the Holy Spirit, there is always more. You are always dissatisfied with where you are and there is a genuine passion to rise higher. It's all about you, Jesus. Whether on stage, whether as a celebrity, he's got your heart. You are not saying, Lord, let me keep my heart with you like a bank. And when I get to a point where I feel I do not need you, I come back and I say, Lord, that heart I gave you, is there any... Can I give you money and collect the heart? Will your Christianity last in the face of honor? Will it last when all your financial needs are met and 80% of your prayer request is gone? Will it last when the husband finally comes now? Will it last when the child... Do you know that for many people, the lifetime of their Christianity is when they receive a, re a result. The moment a result comes, that's it. No more hunger. Hallelujah. One of our dear ladies in this place was speaking with me a few days ago. And was telling me that while she was on campus, she was the one who was wayward and not serious. And there was a fiery sister. When I say fiery, I mean genuine fire. She was the one who used to hold her hands and say, go and pray. Go and do this. Go and do that. And she told me, she said, do you know this lady right now? That she went to her house and she saw another man married man big man with his wife alive and healthy nothing has happened the wife is at home with the children hallelujah and her small house the man came here to visit her what suddenly happens to it do you know the level of fall it takes for you to forget where you started with god that's a level of absence of intimacy for a long time to a point that the Bible says your conscience has been seared with fire. That a man falls from a great height to an extent that you who was making a vow. You see that's why when you say Lord I live for you. God will say I'm not yet sure. I'm not yet sure. Open up your heart. Many of us have tendencies that are enshrined in our heart. The day one million enters your hand. God will have to use prophetic words to beg you and say remember I'm alive. Many of us have not tasted honor. You don't know what it means for people to hold your Bible and move around and say the man of this and that and that and that. And you are like, so there is a possibility to live a higher level of life like this. Can God still find your commitment? Will money or fame or power or any of these things affect your prayer life and affect your sacrifice? Can you still go down on your knees when you are wearing a designer's of one million? Say, Kai, this carpet is rough. The same carpet you knelt down in to bring you the grace and the breakthrough. When you were taking Gary and adding all of this, you had energy. But now you eat chicken, you take 
pasta and every kind of thing. Italian dishes. Those Italian dishes wiped out the presence of God from your life. The Bible says whose God is their belly. Take what I'm saying very seriously tonight because the kind of church we have is the type that if God does not bring breakthrough after one year, many Christians are leaving him. They are packing their load. God is like one of the many things they are trying. Hallelujah. You know, there's this game people used to play. Ladies, I pass here, no way. I pass here, no way. So people pass different things and then they came to Jesus. I pass here, once there's no way, they, they follow too. They are looking for something else. That's why people resolve to go to herbal medicine when it looks like. It's a sign. See, it's a depth of your conviction. When you try and try, they say, Kai, come home. Come home. They say, let's watch and see what God will do. I wouldn't trade you for silver or gold. I wouldn't trade you for riches untold. You are, you are my everything. So if you are here and peradventure you became a Christian because of these many reasons, you'll be born again afresh tonight and get serious because that thing you did was not born again. Hallelujah. Oh God, if you don't give my sister a husband after two weeks, I know you are not Lord. You mean it? Job said, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. Listen, I want your Christianity to be rooted on an unshakable foundation. That's why many of you have seen some of your mothers. I've said it here and here again. Many of them loved God. That's why in the height of their blessings and everything, you still see them sing songs. And when there's a bereavement, when because you see, the kind of Christianity that we are teaching the church is such that, what do you tell a family that has been bereaved right now? I believe in miracles. I believe in raising the dead. But not every dead person will rise up. And you will have to console a dying family. So what will you say? You enter there and say they don't have faith. Many pastors do not have messages for bereaved people. Many pastors don't have messages for people in failure because they have pretended to divorce themselves from those experiences. The, the luxury of the palace have made them like Esther to forget the needs of the people they were called to serve. They have intercourse with the king's meat and forgotten the dignity of holiness. I pray that none of us will become those kind of people. I told God anything, I've said it I don't know how many times and I mean it, anything that you're going to give me and I cannot give you back. I put a prophecy in the air that it should never come to me. Never. And I mean it from the depths of my heart. When I say anything, let your mind grow wild, including my life. Anything. Do you love him that much? Many people want power. You want grace. But God will search your heart. So number one, it exposes your heart. A heart that is exposed to the scrutiny of God. Tonight we are going to open up ourselves and you cry. Because there are many of us, the way we are going, you may not last in your journey. It's not a curse. It's not a bad statement. But we are not hinged on a foundation that is on Christ. Hallelujah. Write the following scriptures down. You read them. We don't have time. Psalms 51 verse 10. Matthew 13 verse 25. When you are truly growing, John 15 verse 2, it says, He that beareth fruit, my father will prune. So pruning is a sign that you are bearing fruit. Bible says, do not despise the chastening of the Lord. See, let me tell you something, believers. I'm telling you from today and forever you must dedicate time for what I call soul searching with God periodically in your life. I know you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. But do you know 
the bible says blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god i want your christian experience to be authentic i cry to god every time it doesn't make me guilty it doesn't make me weak but it makes me strong because in my weakness i'm ever conscious of his power and so every time i make any boast i make it out of the understanding that i'm strengthened in my inner man by his grace number two and a byproduct let me finish up with number one you will find out you are walking in character and in the fruit of the spirit when god deals with your heart it doesn't happen at once it happens level by level look at me let me tell you something come my brother you see this gentleman listen this guy can be born again filled with the holy ghost are you listening to me he can be walking in signs and wonders but there are issues in his heart god will not deal with it yet because at that level the dealings will be too heavy and it will discourage his journey are you listening to me so god will just keep quiet as if there is nothing there this is what a lot of believers mistake him and they think god is careless do you realize the bible says in matthew i gave you the scripture matthew 13 verse 25 will not talk about that because of time the bible says that when men slept what happened they sowed tears among the wheat and when they got up the disciples told the master in that parable they said should we remove he said no 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 because as you are doing that the 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 wheat is still tender are you listening to me and you may not differentiate the wheat and the tear so if you pull it at that point you may destroy innocent things so if god begins to hammer on some things in your life it may be too drastic and it will discourage you so god will allow you to continue so you still have a lot of things that are not consistent with the way of god there's pride there's arrogance there's everything but you are still seeing the anointing and every time you go to pray god doesn't talk to you about it hallelujah then one day when you grow firm enough to be able to take that level of dealing now you are praying suddenly you are praying and you see god begin to tell you okay let's deal with this problem of pride or let's deal with this problem of loss and you are saying lord me lost i forgot about the issue of pride or these sins and god will say really do you trust me and then god will expose yourself to you and you will see and you say lord have mercy upon me and then he will grant you grace and empower you up you go to a higher realm in the spirit this is how men grow this is what the bible calls spiritual growth what many people are doing is numerical advancement in the earth realm not spiritual growth they are going around jericho forever and they are not growing God bless you, sir. number two let's hurry up When you have genuine intimacy with the Holy Spirit, it will conquer unbelief permanently in your life. Communion is the true key to activating the faith of the Son of God in your life. For you cannot trust a man you do not know. See, faith was not designed just to stand. It has to be faith in something or someone. And the degree to which you know that someone is a degree to which you can stand. Look at me. We have been relating for a while, correct? Week after week, months after months, years after years. Based on that, there are some things I can tell you. If I tell you right now, um, this is my daughter, I mean physical daughter, you just laugh why because you know me correct if this place were full of visitors and i tell them come little girl this is my daughter they say ah, ah can you imagine now you are looking as young guys as if she's your younger sister i can afford to mislead people based on their lack of knowledge of me correct but when knowing me gives them an opportunity to walk with me and ascertain certain things about me over time are you listening to me this is why the place of prayer is the place where the shell of the word breaks forth and releases genuine faith 
Did you hear the testimony of our sister? She said she has boldness. Now, let me tell you, that boldness came not just by studying the word. It came by prayer. When you study the word and you go to the place of prayer, it gives you boldness. The Bible says the apostles in Acts chapter 4 were praying. It was in prayer they asked God. They said, grant us boldness. And so the Lord begins to talk to you. And while you are praying, one scripture that you have been studying hits your spirit. And a light comes and there is a level, there is a reality. Hallelujah. Suddenly you are praying or you are in the place of intimacy, of worship with the spirit. And you begin to hear certain sounds. Or you begin to see signs of angels. Will you ever disbelieve that there are angels? It has what? It has solidified your conviction. You see, one of the reasons why you hear us speak like this is because we are speaking from a depth of conviction. There have been experiences that have crystallized our conviction. Hallelujah. What experience do you have that has solidified your, your, your Christian experience? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Communion is the key to conquering unbelief. It does that by exposing your spirit to the atmosphere of God's reality. You need to experience God's reality to know that he is able. I like that song that says, God is able to do just what he says he will do. But you listen, you must have a real experience. If your sister has been pregnant, and they tell you that the baby is so big and they have to cut her open you need a miracle correct at that point a dimension of god is about to be experienced hallelujah if it so happens that by whatever supernatural means she gives birth now the next time you hear someone prophesying and say in the name of jesus we command impossible births to happen will you believe your faith has been strengthened you see how experiences crystallize our knowledge of god Many of us lack the sufficient experiences. Why do we call someone a general and someone a captain? What's the difference? What's the difference? When the captain hears the sound of a gun, bah! He can panic and he can do all of this. And the general laughs. He said, they've even pointed gun at me one day. I didn't die. So all this nonsense you are doing. Let me tell you something. The psalmist says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. It takes a man are you listening to me? Whose convictions about God has been strong. So all those things, run to the village, run to this, run to this, eh, let's add Christianity and this. It's a sign that you are not convicted. He said, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Number three. The third evidence of genuine intimacy is freshness of insight and revelation. Freshness. Don't tell me you are in intimacy with God and you will not have a message. Let me tell you something. When in all sincerity, when I hear men of God come on stage and say, well, I didn't prepare for this message. I really don't even know what to say. Uh, whatever. Let's just look at something. Let me tell you in all sincerity, that is a sign that is such a sign of lack of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Because at every time you encounter the Holy Spirit, there is a message. If I, if I have a way of planning for Koinonia to meet every day, every day. Because according to the syllables that we have to cover, we are far behind. Sometimes people meet me and say, ah, you just finish a ministration. You go for another one. You minister and then you go and you are talking about different things. And many people do not know that many of my messages are experiences. I share some of them with you to encourage you. Sometimes I'm sleeping, minding myself. Having a sound sleep. And then I see things in the spirit and I wake up and God tells me, share it. That's how messages like commanding results. And so on and so forth came. These things were not just rehearsals. When you are a man of the secret, can I tell you something? When you are a man of intimacy with the Holy Spirit, there is freshness. It says, 
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me, and thy rod and staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of what? My enemies. Ah, I'm quoting a wrong scripture. I thought I'll find what I want in that scripture. Let's go to Psalm. Psalm what have I quoted now? Let's go to Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who does not, yes, that's the scripture, who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, standing, sitting, walking, all they are wrong, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day. As a result, what will happen? He shall be like a tree. That is what? Other trees have to wait for rainy season. But this other tree is planted by the rivers. As a result, it yields its fruit in season. And whose leaves does not wither. Freshness. Not necessarily newness. Freshness. That's why you can hear people like Kenneth E. Hagin teaching on faith for over 30 years. And you have series and series. Every time a message goes stale. It's a sign that it did not come out from the bowels of the spirit. Because if it comes out, it will come with a touch of eternity. Even if you've heard it before, it will come with a freshness like the dew of heaven. How many mornings have you had in your life? Morning and evening. Many, isn't it? But everyone comes fresh. That's how it, because it comes from a realm of eternity. There's no morning that will bore you. You say, Kai, I've had, um, maybe I'm 30 years or I'm 40 years, and I've had so many mornings or many, mm -mm. they come from a fresh realm. Every time you sleep, even after 30 or 40 years, you still look forward to, that's why the Bible tied the mercies of God to the morning. He said they are new every morning. Freshness. Many of us lack freshness in our lives. You hear someone speaking and you know that this is the only message that he said since five years ago. And that's why you hear people talk about the God who was. Ah, I remember we were in a crusade in 1971 and God did this and that. And I remember the Lord told me something five years ago. The Lord did this. What is God telling you now? Did he run away? Say after me, freshness. Whether a man, a ministry, an organization, stagnation is a sign of the absence of the presence of God. There should be freshness. Suddenly, when you think you have come to the end of everything you know, suddenly. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says the path of the just is what? As a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. That means if I look at you, Pastor Steve, in 2000 and maybe six or seven, by the time I see you in 2014, I should see some, an evidence in your life that shows me you have been in the presence of God. How many of you have seen a little child and maybe when you came to school or maybe didn't see the person for five years and the next thing you turn and ah, you even see the guy has one small beard. I say, ah, Bala, you mean this? Now our children have become men. That's a sign that he's alive. Correct? That's a sign that he's alive. Those that you see them looking the same way after 20 years, you know that there's a problem. Because that's not the normal way people should be. Correct? There's a problem. Maybe a health problem, genetic mutation or whatever, but there is a problem. So, when you tell me that you got born again, and after one solid year, listening to the word of God, praying, engaging yourself in the kingdom, and there is no evidence, there is no freshness in your life. You can't share anything. You cannot lead a small prayer meeting. Hallelujah. There are so many people. After one year, two years, three months, four months, they say just share with us something briefly. 
and you want to enter the grass hey, 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 go, what will I? I understand there's there's that initial fear it's not a fear it should not be a fear of lack of the presence of God it should be that okay I've not done it before but when you stand there suddenly grace will come upon you if you don't deny God in the secret he will never disappoint you in the open you know why God disappoints many men of God because they don't know him in the secret we can come and chorus all kinds of names Lily of the lion of the, uh, the tribe of Judah, lily of the valley, what and what, rose of Sharon, uh, uh, silver or gold, all kinds of names. My God, you promised me you wouldn't disappoint me. And God is saying, Me? When? Asking the angels, when did we say, when did we say, who sent this guy? But when you are a man or a woman of the secret place, you can stand and sing and say i know my god will answer me this is why we have the confidence to organize miracle services this is how we have the confidence to gather people every week because we are certain he said that which i tell you in the secret declare thou on the mountaintop that's why he blesses us with new songs if you leave Koinonia after three or four months, you will come and hear a new song. It's a sign of freshness. Some of these songs come through dreams. Some of these songs come through people in the worship team. Some come through congregations. You not any church or denomination or, or, or group of believers. Where God is there, there are fresh things. The Bible says, sing unto the Lord a new song because he expects that his presence should give you a new experience that should produce new things. Jesus freshness 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 Psalm 36 verse 9 Kabala rabo shanda krati salamo kasi adaba Ambrosia secreti shala kosi bana hasi adaba Lord I love your presence I love that song I love I love I love your presence I love, I love. I love your what? What's the other part? At least I'm talking to God, not you. Psalm 36, verse what? Nine. For with thee is the fountain of light. See, he said, In thy light do we see light. That means when you see his light, you will have direction. The shadow of God is not black. His shadow itself is light. So he says, you, have, you are the fountain of life. As a derivative of your light, if we are truly with you, then we should not walk in darkness. Hallelujah. Number four. And I'll stop here. The fourth thing you receive or the fourth evidence of genuine intimacy is authentic unction and authority in the spirit what did i say authentic unction has nothing to do with ministry has nothing to do with men of god if you actually meet god and his power dimension does not rub off on you it's not god you met find out the name of that person you met because he's a habali somewhere if he's god the God of Israel. The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in his presence. The majestic one who with the breath of his nostrils parted the Red Sea and you are spending time day after day, week after week, his power dimension, that unction of the spirit will rub off on you. That's why you see many people, they don't even know. Let me tell you something. When I began my pursuit for God, I was not looking for power. I'm not sure any of us was looking for power. We used to just go and pray and fellowship. We didn't even know the anointing was on us. I'll never forget Ejimi. When it comes to things like this, I like using him. Demonstration students were in Sunday school building. He had been angry because he was laying hands, laying hands, nothing is happening. And every time you come back and complain, you know Ejimi can be very dramatic. And that very day, we prayed. And he laid hands on the lady. And she started moving back small. You can, oh my God, you can imagine the white smile. He didn't carry that hand away. He laid it there. 
I saw one gentleman doing it in chapel. One day I entered. I didn't stop him. Sometimes just leave the people. It's an encouragement. You don't know how they've suffered looking for that sign. Hallelujah. And so when you touch the lady and she's almost falling, you now move from your secret place and come out where everybody can see and say, now the power of God will move and act all kinds of drama. And God will stop you. It's an encouragement. A day will come, you'll draw your ears and say, oh, that's too much. Let's go back to work. A day should come when you pray for the sick and someone can come back with a testimony. You've prayed for 1,000 people. Nobody got healed. You, you are not in the presence of God. There must be an evidence. The Bible says Elijah prayed. There was no rain. He prayed again. There was no rain. At the seventh time, what happened? There was an evidence. Let me tell you something. If it is the genuine presence of God, an evidence must show. A day will come, you will stand close to someone who is possessed. And without talking, suddenly, you see the demon just manifest. And you say, go! Leave the person in the name of Jesus. This is how we grew up. That's why our prayer lives were exciting because we're, we're wondering what new will God do today. Hallelujah. I remember that time every night was getting people filled with the Holy Spirit. We're so happy. I remember one time a Jimmy gathered his, his classmates and brought them industrial design. Gathered all of them and said, come and see what God will do with you this night. Gathered them and brought them to chapel. We loved prayer because prayer was not this boring thing I see people do. It was, it, we looked forward to exciting times. And he was going to pray for them. After preaching a sound message, prayed for them, nothing happened. They were tired, they tried and tried again. That day when we were going home, Jimmy was angry. He said God would have at least, that he knew what would have happened to their faith. If, if, if they didn't speak, at least they would have fallen. But today, by the grace of God, we didn't start by speaking over congregations and having the power of God fall on people. We started step by step. But that step was an evidence that encouraged us. And we said, man, this tongues is working. No, let's fire on. And we went for crusade. My brother, when we went for crusade, we saw things that encouraged us. Oh, rain had not fallen in that land. And it fell, Correct. Hallelujah. Jakes was the head of council in that time. Bishop was our treasurer. We saw the miracle working power of God. Is your Christianity exciting? It will not be exciting if you are not in the presence of God. There's nothing new. God is not speaking to you. He's not challenging you. God can tell you, go and tell Ella that I will bless her. And that's your first time of the word of knowledge. You look forward to that time. You're shivering. By the time you get there, you've forgotten the message. You have to find one scripture. Oh, when you stand before them. You see, this is your Christian experience being rich. Many people's Christian life is dry and boring. Because you don't look forward to any experience. I always look forward to Friday because I don't even know what God is going to do. Hallelujah. Sometimes people send me messages. Like Grace sent me a message this evening. She told me how that she saw... A, 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 a vision of the meeting this night. I was so excited. I said, this is the kind of thing I want to hear. That one day, you were challenged in your health and you say, let me try it. Let me not take drugs this time around. If it gets too bad, there's chemists. They are not locked. But let me just try. Say after me, authentic power. See, whoever you got your power from, you will depend on the person for the rest of your life. That's why some people can never live some men of God. Never! Because they have tied their life and their power there. And sometimes pastors, we preach and tell people, by the time you leave me, or you go, or you start your ministry, or you do this, your life will dry away because I'm from the fountain that flows to you. Look, let me tell you something. The Bible says, Psalm 133, how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. It says, it's like the oil that comes from who? The head of Aaron, the priest who is Christ. And out of the overflow of what is in the head is where the body receives. And so, your unction should come from the Holy One. He said, ye have an unction, not from a pastor. They can be channels, but the unction comes from the Holy One. 
let men and women walk in authentic power I want to see koinonia people casting out devils i want to see you heal the sick doing the works of jesus i'm telling you speaking breakthroughs over our lives standing to legislate on behalf of heaven look at what this lady said her testimony blessed me so much i look forward to times when our testimony on stage will not just be breakthroughs that came as a result of the prophetic declaration but what god did with our hands lift your hands everybody lift your hands say these hands are the hands of jesus upon the earth filled with the power of the spirit with it i will do wonders i will heal the sick i'll cast out devils i will deliver nations i'm anointed the presence of god is with me in the name of jesus you must walk conscious of his presence he's with me he's with me this is what gives me confidence everywhere i go he's with me he's with me i'm telling you the word walks w-a-l-k w-a-l-k the word the bible says and god walking with them confirming the words there's no disappointment in ministry again i found the key is the presence of god i found the key is the key to the anointing is the key to breakthrough god told me if you have me you have everything i am telling you out of his fullness you can speak over the lives and the destinies of people and doors will open that's why he's all i have this is why we celebrate his presence every other thing is temporal but i'm telling you if you have his presence you see why moses said do not let us depart he said, I know your presence. Your presence brought us thus far. How many of you will pray and say, Lord, do not let your presence depart. The psalmist said, cast me not away from your presence and take not your spirit from me. There must be an evidence in your life. Freshness, unction, authentic power. That you shake every demon and devil disturbing your life. And you tell yourself, as surely as the Lord grants me grace, I can do it. Tonight I'm challenging you, brothers and sisters. The presence of God should be your greatest asset. The presence of God. Commune with the Holy Ghost in the place of prayer. In the place of worship. In the place of the word in the place of obedience you will find yourself walking in realms you're not prepared for i'm telling you stop chasing after the things that only his presence can give hallelujah who would have known that today by the grace of god we'll be doing the things that we are doing for god many people saw when we started nobody would have known but by his grace by his grace evidence your coming tonight is the evidence that his presence is with us what will men do as the evidence that god is with you how god anointed jesus of nazareth acts 10 38 with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed why for god was with him God is with me. Anywhere God sends me now, there's only one question I'll ask. Will you go with me? If God is going with me, that's all. That's all I need. Many of us do not know the value of God's presence. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. I want you to take it seriously and pray. You're going to say, Lord, your presence. I have left your presence. Many of us only run to God as emergency Christians emergency christians lift your voice inside and outside lift your voice and pray your presence my greatest asset i take advantage of the person of the holy spirit i take advantage of the wisdom of the holy spirit i take advantage of the power of the holy spirit i take advantage of the favor of the spirit lift your voice and pray shalakata proskadabalakada 
Ambra basata bregetele kosata. Rabata krasta la capre sekete. Say Lord, put in me a hunger. A hunger for your presence. A hunger that I will lie down in worship. In your presence. Soak it in the glory. Soak it in the glory. So will you remain fresh. So will you remain powerful. This is a secret I've given you tonight. It's the secret of greatness. It's the secret of glory. The evidence of genuine intimacy. A life of character. A contrite and a broken heart. Conviction. True faith. Lift your voice and say, Lord, help me. Grace for prayer. Grace for worship. Grace for spending time in the presence of God. Say, Lord, open me up to visions. Open me up to dreams. Prophetic encounters. Make your presence real. Make the Holy Ghost real. Make the Holy Ghost real. Make the Holy Ghost real in my life. Pray and say, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call on to me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Hallelujah. Freshness, unction, authentic power, character, maturity, love for God. These are parameters that let us know whether God is at work in your life. For many of us from today, you must make a resolve to let his word reign in you, find expression, take authority over Satan. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is not some magic power. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is not just wind and fire. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is the ability of God. It's his, it's his energy to perform. The Bible says when it comes to destroying yokes, when it comes to removing burdens, when it comes to restoring destinies, it's not the issue of talk and grammar. It says the burden shall be taken and it shall be removed because of the anointing. The ability of the Holy Spirit. This is why we take our time to worship. Because without the presence of the Holy Spirit, you see, you cannot separate the anointing of the Holy Spirit from His person. Authentic anointing is a derivative of your intimacy with the Holy Spirit. You're not going to say, God, give me anointing and then leave the Holy Spirit. No. The power of the Holy Spirit is His reward in your life for the value you have placed on His person. Hallelujah. When you take the Holy Spirit seriously, beyond church, beyond religion, then the Holy Spirit begins to make a wonder out of you. And he empowers you. It says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It says, but ye shall receive power. Dunamis. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And that power will make you witnesses. A witness is one who validates that the claims of another is true. So it says there is an ability that can be given unto a mortal man that helps the person to validate the claims. Hallelujah. That's the anointing that is responsible for healings, for miracles. The Bible says handkerchiefs, handkerchiefs and aprons, handkerchiefs and aprons were taken handkerchiefs 
Whatever it takes to prove that Jesus is Lord, God is ready to do it. Are you listening to me? If it takes him empowering a handkerchief, Because the kingdom of God is not in word, but in the demonstration of power. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but in the demonstration of power, that your faith will not rest upon the wisdom, Sophia, of man, but upon the power of God. This is what you have come to encounter. There is a sweet, Anointing in the sanctuary, there is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried, for in the sanctuary. God is here. Listen, I'm ministering to your spirit. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down. The burdens you have carried For in this sanctuary Tonight, listen This is the place where You can lay down Whatever burden you have carried Because his anointing is in this place this is not a psychology center where we do human therapy. No. This is the place where the spirit of God finds residence in the midst of his people. And his power is here to heal. His power is here to deliver. Listen, let me tell you something. Is the devil's objective, everybody listen. Is the devil's objective to make sure that he oppresses mankind. The Bible says in John 10.10, 10, the thief, everybody say the thief. Say one more time, the thief. Cometh not. That means you will never see Satan except he's coming to do one of these three things. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. Steals dreams, kills colorful destinies, destroys lives but jesus said i am come not to start a religion not to start a movement i am come that ye may have life and that life to have it more abundantly the bible says he gave us of his spirit that spirit of adoption that brings us Calling many sons into glory. And now in him we can live in the reality of this life. There is a realm above and beyond sickness. There is a realm above and beyond the reach of Satan. Our goal tonight is not just to heal the sick and set the captives free. But to join hands with you to lift you above and beyond the realm that you were operating in before you came. Thou art worthy El Shaddai Help me drama. Strong and mighty We praise Jehovah I am that I am You are the most high Every time we gather like this 
hovering around this entire congregation is that blessed spirit of God the one who can see the needs of everybody it is not given to me to see the needs of everybody there are some of you who are coming here with doctor's report they've concluded on your case but who shall say a thing and it will come to pass when the Lord has not declared it and tonight I want you to know that your doctor's report is only one of the many available reports Ah, there are many other reports and the Bible says whose report will you believe there are many of us that your situations and circumstances have spoken to you it may be your friends it may be your failures of the past it may be your mistakes of the past but my Bible tells me remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold I do a new thing Jesus died for only three days after three days people were still talking about his death whereas he had resurrected and was doing great things he only died for three days he didn't die forever is there hope for a tree though it be cut down this is the message for some of you he said at the scent of water who has concluded about your destiny my brother and my sister i've come tonight to tell you like the dry bones of ezekiel he says son of man can these bones live again Son of man, can these bones live? Can these bones of shattered dreams live again? Can these bones of a seemingly wasted destiny live again? And they concluded and named him Jabez because his mother bore him in sorrow. But a time came when Jabez was angry. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. In Judges chapter 6, there was a man called Gideon of the Midianites, the least in his house and his clan being the least. The Bible says he was hiding and an angel appears to him and does not call him by his presence. It's in the character of God to name things Call things that be not. He said, oh thou mighty man of failure. In other words, do you not realize that there is a prophetic destiny? Although you are hiding, but in the realm of the spirit, this is the destiny apportioned for you. Tonight, dry bones will come alive. Because you see, Paul speaking said, there are many voices in the earth. Many of you have heard the voices that are in your media. No jobs. No marriages. Statistics that have no head and tail. That scare people. The meltdown in the economy. Death and terrorism everywhere. These are voices attempting to contend against the truth of god's word but the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination doesn't matter where it came from and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ is a bringing every thought the word bringing there is compelling every thought to come to the obedience of Christ. There is a plot against the body of Christ. Every believer's life is under attack. The gates of hell launching their best arsenal in this season to try to cripple the prophetic destiny. You hear stories of great men falling like a leaf generals and champions this is the plot of the devil trying to cripple families to cripple their finances cripple their health heterogeneous sicknesses that have no head and tail but the bible says in psalm 66 verse 3 how awe inspiring are your ways he said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves oh they can submit they can submit 
through the greatness of thy power. What affliction did you come here with? Some of you are here with terminal diseases. They say you are SS and your genotype will not change. Some of you are here trusting God for life partners and marriages. That devil that appears in our media and everything that discourages people. There are many of us who are just tired of our lives. You came here to attempt to find out if there is anything more about your life. Some of us are here diagnosed of HIV and the doctors have told you you know that there is no cure. You are already counting your days. Have you not read in your Bible that the age of the least among them will be like the age of a tree? There are some of you standing for your family members. There are thousands of people all over the world streaming online, connecting with their faith. Let me tell you something. God is too serious to joke with your destiny. Did you hear what I'm saying? There are some of you because of your past mistakes. Many things have happened around your life. Son of man, can these bones live? Can these bones live? There are some of us here, inside and outside. The testimony of your life is Ichabod. You were once men and women on fire. Especially for us, the sisters. And you got into all kinds of distractions. Let no one condemn you. There is a bomb in Gilead tonight. Some of you have all kinds of curses and traces of darkness. You run to men of God and they give you useless explanations. Nobody in your family gets married. Nobody in your family starts a project and completes it. In fact, you are the only one who was able to make it to the university. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquities of their parents. Is someone listening to me? There are some of you, there are deaths. Deaths in your family. It looks like there are certain wicked, demonic cycles that happen. Hallelujah. Some of you are brilliant. You wrote your jam by yourself. Wrote Wayek by yourself. You got into the university and your story changed. You will read as if you will die and enter the exam hall and everything will blank out. Tonight that devil is a liar. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tonight we are going to destroy everything that needs to be destroyed. Rebuild everything that needs to be rebuilt. Let your faith just be open tonight. Refuse to be a spectator. Refuse. Don't, don't, no, refuse. Don't say I will clap for other people. No. You can't, some of you are standing, you don't have a seat. Refuse it. The Bible says when Jesus saw their faith, faith can be seen. When Jesus saw their faith, they needed to meet him. The crowd was there, they taught the zinc. They said, we will negotiate with the owner of the house after I receive the miracle. Tonight is the time when you will forget about your neighbor. If it's your withhold, remove it and keep it. Hallelujah. I came here angry in my spirit because the Lord showed me certain issues that have been buffeting the lives of people that he must answer to the anointing tonight. I tell you, it must answer to the anointing tonight. There are some of you seated here. Listen to me. You are the only hope of your family. You know I'm not lying. You may be the least. Everybody has failed. They are depending on you. And the same hand that brought them down is now trying to bring you down. The mistake the devil made tonight was to allow you to arrive this ground safely. Hallelujah. Moses didn't need to tell people he had been with God. 
when he came out of that place the bible says his face began to glow when jesus was born the bible says suddenly in the atmosphere a particular star began to shine and that star started attracting the people who were relevant in his destiny the magi all of these people began to come and they gave him gifts of gold frankincense and manna what has covered your glory tonight it will answer to the anointing of the spirit i tell you from the depth of my heart i'm not motivating you it will answer to the anointing of the spirit you are not as bad as people say you are the devil has given you an identity that not does not belong to you and he showed me joshua the high priest although he was a high priest he was wearing a garment that was not his own and the lord says satan the lord rebuke you is this not a reed that i've taken out of the fire he said remove that old garment many of you will receive tonight a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward will get what he said hallelujah this is the goal of the miracle service it's not a time of teaching and discussion we have three weeks when we sit on the word tonight is the time when we demonstrate to principalities and powers that jesus died and on the third day he arose victorious as king of kings and lord of lords the bible says the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof the walls the systems and they that dwell therein belongs to him hallelujah and for many of you that demonic manifestation that makes you to run away from god there are many of you listening to me you are where you are because of the stubbornness of your heart every time you see true believers you laugh at them and you mock them but see the way your life is nose diving tonight is the time when you will make it right i know that there are people here pastors of different ministries that came from different ministries some of you are quietly seated outside you came to catch this fire gone are the days of monopoly of ministry where men sit down and brag over nonsense tonight i assure you that some of you will be lit like the foxes that samuel lit that that, that samson lit and you will run to the camp of the philistines and burn down everything that is not of god for the bible says whatever tree that has not been planted by god shall be uprooted there are some of you that god needs to open the financial destiny of your families because they have been closed your father is walking your mother is walking you are walking but there's nothing to show forth for it the bible says and in that day they shall no longer use this proverb in israel a time will come and tonight is that time this old proverb that has been used about your family it was said of nathaniel can anything good come out of nazareth the bible says he uses the foolish things the things that makes no sense hallelujah tonight some of you will encounter the favor of god very few people really know what the favor of god is all about 430 years pharaoh vowed not to let the nation of israel go but in 24 hours he didn't let them go he restored to them through favor the, the bible says they spoil the egyptians without war you can spoil a man without fighting he said they got not into the land by their own sword neither did their hand save them but you're right and because you have shown them favor 
who are down mountain before God's people tonight say who are down mountain the hand of Zerubbabel I'm speaking to families that are suffering without explanation the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it listen to me let's get who the enemy is here very clear before we start look up the enemy is not your grandmother in the village stop wasting your time the bible has told you straight to the point we wrestle not against say one more time we wrestle not against so don't come here expecting we're going to just talk about your grandmother and grandfather uh -uh. they are only mediums that are being used if at all they are being used the real enemy is satan when they planted wheat the bible says in the night where men slept satan came and planted tears when the lord said he didn't say a wicked he said the enemy has done this the accuser of the brethren and tonight that devil will give way we are not confused about who is going to bow tonight are you hearing me the devil will not confuse us no we are not confused about the person who will bow tonight I'm preparing your spirit so that faith will rise don't be distracted listen let me tell you what demon spirits do in meetings like this when the word begins to come and you are receiving it especially for those of you outside who don't have a seat wicked spirits through friends and people who just came to make noise and let me tell you there is a crowd here if you come to steal anybody's property i'm saying it now even if it's a pin you carry i tell you you will carry a curse upon your life and go back with it this is not the place to come and steal are you listening to me because i'm aware that not everybody in this crowd seriously came for koinonia if you see a pin on the ground leave it there come and receive your miracle and find your way home hallelujah say jesus is lord those outside i tell you do you know that as i stand here i sense the pool of faith from those outside i guess it's because they don't have the convenience of those i mean it from the depth of my heart i know it when i know it when the spirit of faith is upon the people i'm not saying you don't have faith hallelujah and jacob held on to him in the night this is what some of you need to do listen before i pray for you you have a role to play tonight the bible says jacob wrestled with god he said god if i perish let me perish you will not come and go back you know there was a time that the lord appeared in a place and he said the lord was in this place and i knew not so when he came again he said i know now you won't go back and the bible says he wrestled with him until it was getting to morning he said what is your name tonight somebody somebody's name your identity will change in the spirit yes 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 it will change it will change the woman with the issue of blood do you know first she was unclean she wasn't supposed to be among the congregation and she said look i don't care which rule i'll break when i receive the miracle i'll go to the sanhedrin and all the people and apologize but for now for 12 years finish all our money doctors and she said if i may but touch tonight someone will need to say lord my seatmate will not distract me your weapon, your suit whether you have a chair to sit down or not say lord you will do something in my life let me share with you a testimony and then we'll begin to pray years ago reinhard bonke came to joss 
and I left Zaria here and I ran to Joss. There were crowds of people. Hallelujah. And while he was ministering, I was lost in that crowd. But I said, God, you must do something in my life. For six hours, I was standing on that ground. There's no hope of going out. Except they will stampede you and you will die for nothing. You must stay there till they share the grace. Hallelujah. I came by three in the afternoon. And I asked the people, I told them, I want to walk. I must do something. They said, no, they train the people. I said, train fire. Train or no training. I must do something in this place. I cannot see an anointing like this and waste it. Many of you lose value. Listen, it's not enough to believe in God. You must believe in the vessels that he's using. I know ministers have exaggerated this and turned it into idolatry. But it is important that you believe in the vessels that God will use. Hallelujah. And Renard Bonke, I was helping people. I saw people on wheelchairs. While they were wheeling them, I said, please, can I help you? Shata la I said, Lord, one day this will happen in my meeting. I saw sick people. I was pushing them. The remaining people were doing work for a crusade. I was connecting with an anointing to change my destiny. Hallelujah. When he finished ministry, a pregnant woman was near me. So the woman had to be leaning on me. My legs were shaking. I said, leg, if you are tired, you can go home. But for me, I'm standing on this ground. Something happened. When Reinhard Bonke finished preaching, he wanted to take water. Suddenly, for the first time, I saw the visible manifestation of the Holy Ghost. I saw a bed that was bigger than this building hovering around the entire hundreds of thousands of people. It had silvery linings like this on the wings. I thought other people were seeing it. And suddenly I remember that saying, Elijah and Elisha. He said, if you can see, if you can see, if you can see. Hear me? Many people are going to be watching miracles and testimonies. But there are a few people here God brought you to see. Because you see, many people just watch. No, 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 but people can look, others see. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. There are unseen things happening. And I tell you, not everybody, but some people will carry some anointings. You will be shocked to leave this meeting and you will find yourself reproducing everything that you are seeing. This is not for everybody. But there are people that came here with genuine hunger. Hallelujah. Tonight, be ready to forgive everybody. I know there are whole families in this place who have fought and turned themselves into pieces. I said, let's come for Koinonia and find out who is the witch this night once and for all. None of you is the witch. The real enemy is Satan. So don't come here with a mindset to report another person. No. No. Are you listening to me? Destinies that have been tied down will be released. Oh yes. Rise up on your feet. In one minute I'd like you to pray violently. Say Lord now is my time. Now is my time. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Inside and outside. Now is my time. Lord, do not pass me by. I can't go back with this terminal disease. My marital destiny must open up. My ministerial destiny must open up. That barrenness must leave my life. Shekete la bakata la baka, 
Reke proso so pregere balarara. Seke leke re baliara balarara. Pray. Pray. The Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I see the angels of the Lord. And every time the Lord opens my eyes to begin to see his angels. It's time for deliverance and emancipation. Whatever has held you bound. It's time for it to answer to the anointing. It will answer tonight. It will answer tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to challenge principalities and powers. Spiritual forces of wickedness. Listen. 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 The devil that is behind the predicaments of your life will be exposed and destroyed tonight are you listening to me let your faith be open because i see the angels of the lord with swords of fire hallelujah lift up your hands everybody inside and outside i'm about to pray i'm about to pray we have been raised up with christ and made to sit above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but in the world to come. Hallelujah. Oh my God, the power of God is amazing in this place. Please, ushers, get set. When you have the people, let them come to front. Now we are going to shout the name of Jesus once. I like you to shout it with all your heart. The moment that happens, I tell you, it's like a tornado. The fire of God will sweep across this building. Inside and outside, there will be massive deliverance, especially outside. All the people, let me have them here. Are you ready now? That name. Demons bow at that name. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two, three. Shake it, 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 Satan, be lost. Every demon, every demon, come out, come out, be exposed. We expose principalities, powers. Shake it, 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 it outside. The fire of God is falling outside. Shake it, 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 be set on fire. Be set on fire. Be set on fire. Get your second day. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Outside. Shaka. Every demon 
one power holding anyone captive release them outside the fire of God there are angels moving with swords of fire outside I expose the powers of darkness every spirit be cast out come out come out hear my voice hallelujah those outside alone lift your hands your destiny must change tonight those outside at the count of three i like you to shout the name of jesus at the count of three those outside because there are many of you that need massive deliverance upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions are you ready those outside one two three Let the power of the Holy Ghost move outside. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall like the dew of heaven. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall, 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 fall. Shekete, rekete, rekoposote, rebeke tori kete, lekoto soso koto, reke pariata pariete telebo, man prekoto se prekere menebo. The power of God is still falling. Bring her here. You are going now. You are going now. You are going now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost on you. Come out now. Go out now. Out. Leave her. Let her go. Go. Now. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Shekatabareke talikaba. Zendepra kalibratu kaprosa. Sheketeleke prakadabalaba. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them, please. The power of God is still falling on people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look, bring her. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her right now. Out. Go, go out. Go out. The mighty name of Jesus. You are going now. Ketata rekata. Sezeke parita. Ramboso preketa lianaba. Rakapros kosopate. Legrete kariata ratariata. Batapros kataliana. Bende brosko soto tobari karia karabash kebregere balaba. The fire of God from your head to your toe. Let the fire consume you right now, right now. Shepakata kata balaba 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 balaba. The power of God is still falling on people. You will not escape. You will not escape. The angels of God are moving around the crowd. Bring that lady. Look at me. Look at me.
Look at me. Look at my eyes. I see you in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ do you know this lady has been under heavy demonic influence nothing is moving in her life now you just think the problem of this lady what she needs is counseling this is not counseling this is not about counseling the power of God is still falling on people the works of darkness will be exposed and you will see the way your life will begin to move This is where light and darkness meets. One must bow. Hold on. Do you know what happened to this lady? And this is a warning to many of you. Sometimes when these demon spirits are under fire, they leave but they wait. You go back into the things you used to do, they will re-enter. When a spirit is li leaves a man, the Bible says, it goes through Ari. This is why deliverance without a thorough growth and the teaching of the word is only a waste. Hallelujah. I want you to learn something. Watch this. The Bible says handkerchiefs and aprons. Nothing special about this. I just want to teach you. Especially for our students, school of ministry. Watch what will happen. This is an ordinary handkerchief. What makes it extraordinary? The anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing. Watch this. This is a lady under the influence of demons. She's not even looking at me. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Just leave her. You don't need to touch her. The anointing is upon her. Just watch what will happen. Go, go, leave her right now. You are a wicked spirit. The mighty name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Out of her now. Out of her right now. There's still one more person outside. Bring her. There's still one more person outside. Come out of her right now. Devil of darkness. Out. There's one more person outside. All those in front here, we have to hurry up. Didn't know time had gone. All those in front here, I'm going to count three. Yeah, I'm here. One person outside. In fact, two, not just one, two. Two outside. Two outside. Two outside. violently under the influence of demons because I saw the angels of the Lord gathered around that person oh salvation has come to this family 
There's one more person outside. No escaping. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've seen the all right. That's the person. Now at the count of 3 Bring this lady. We will shout for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. The mighty name of Jesus. Look at me. Your time is over in this body. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Come out of her right now. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. We will shout for your glory. Out. Go. Go. You are going. Hallelujah. See how demon spirits can be powerful. Look at how many people are trying to handle one person. This is somebody that this guy alone will lift. You are going in the name of Jesus. This is Koinonia. Jesus is Lord here. Bring the lady. Okay. You go and wait there. Just leave her. She will obey. Bring this lady. Come. Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. For light and darkness cannot stand. Your time is over. He makes his angels. L listen to what he's saying. Did you hear what he's saying? This is how you just sit down. One day you just hear that somebody just died. They say, how can I lie, Shiria? No, take the mic. We don't have all of that time. We are trying to do other things. Come out of her right now. Come out. Come out right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. That's how you see one day this innocent lady will just something. Accident or one kind of thing that has no head and tail. Come out in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Shakata kata banadaba, rakata ta 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 ta, shakata ta 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 ta. This is what happens in the realm of the spirit when you pray in tongues. You have the opportunity to see it now. Shakata ta 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 da ba kata, rakata pa kata banadaba, zonto pekete le pa kata ta bra kata liata, zobregere belere bos, so 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 do ba kara ba kara ba kara. Shekata, come out. You are bound, rebuked. You are going. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is against you. You are going out of her now. Come out. Come out. Fire against you. Fire in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out right now. Out of her. Out of her right now. Leave She can't hold me. She can't touch me. Don't worry. It's the fire. She will touch fire. No matter how mad a madman is, he can't hold fire. Out. 
out in the mighty name of Jesus with a loud shout you are going go go you must go I set you free now no hiding no hiding I set you free Ushers, ushers, leave her. All of you leave her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Leave her alone. You will not cross that building. You will come back. Just leave her alone. You will not cross that building. You will come back. Just leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let her cross. You will see the demonstration of power tonight. Paul said, when I came to you, I didn't come. Just, just leave her alone. She can't go out. No, there are angels that back up the words of leave her. No usher should hold her. No usher should hold her. She will come back here by the force of the Holy Ghost. No usher should hold her. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. The light shines in the darkness. Just leave her alone. She will run and come by the power of the Holy Ghost. There is an agency of the Spirit that compels things to happen. Oh, she will come. She will come. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever it takes. That's how powerful the Word of God is. How all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. You don't need to cover her, she will move. The influence of the Holy Spirit will drag her to the front here. The influence, she will run under the power of the Holy Ghost is under the power many of you don't know who the holy ghost is the holy ghost is not an angel the holy ghost is god hallelujah 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 don't worry <laughs> you will see wonders tonight the demonstration of spirit that word will not return back until she comes this is how this is what happens when you pray when you speak words god is showing you this is called signs and wonders they are supposed to encourage you you are not just watching movie hallelujah please we have to hurry up there are many other things to do Peptic ulcer, lift your hands. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You will see how powerless Satan is. Just leave her. She must come. Peptic ulcer, inside and outside. Lift your hands. It's time for you to be healed. Peptic ulcer. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command peptic ulcer. Go! Go! In the mighty name of Jesus, peptic ulcer. Be healed. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. Listen. Bring this lady. Sister, look at me.
As we worship you, let all the world come and see how the mercy we receive from you can set men free. As we worship you, let all this joy that fills our heart bring a hunger and a hope to those. As we bow in adoration and stand in reverence, show your majesty and glory, let your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves, let the power of your salvation fill each heart we pray hallelujah now hallelujah there is a lady one of your ear is not working properly one of your ear is not working it's like water or something it started happening a while ago please who is that person come out quickly Hallelujah. Now, I want to rebuke every kind of lump. Every kind of lump, breast, lump in your breast, your neck, wherever. Is the lady here? Come. Where is, which is the ear? This one. You believe God can heal? You believe he will heal? Of course he will. Everybody watch a miracle. A power that is in the name of the resurrected Christ. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. That devil of darkness. Go! Close the one that is walking. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yes, sir. Can you hear with that one? Yes. Could you hear with it like this before? No, sir. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Right here, one ear just open. Look at me. Who knows you with this condition? Your brother. Is he here? Is he here? Call him because I know there are all kinds of cynical people who are here and think that is stage one if you can act this kind of drama come and act it where is who was the name of your brother victor where are you run out victor your sister has this problem yes. now talk to her ask him say anything Fine. she couldn't hear with one ear look at the miracle rejoice god bless you my dear Don't let them go. Uh -uh. Hold on. I'm seeing a cat. A cat. Come out. Come out. This is what I'm seeing. They're just trying to make it look like they are gone so that you quietly walk back. This is a cat I'm seeing. It's, I'm not even seeing a human being. I'm seeing a cat. Look at the. You see the way she's positioned? It's not normal. Now in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. All over your body now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shata kata. Rekete pareketa. Shopeketa. Mareketa. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Thou devil. A cat. Come out. Go, go, go. You are going right now. In the name of Jesus, go. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, all those, listen, all those who are outside Zaria who came with sick people, please come forward quickly. Outside Zaria, please, if you are in Zaria, we'll minister to you. All those outside Zaria who are sick, 
Find your way to the front now quickly. Please, let's save time. Let's save time. Whether inside or outside, you are sick or you came with a sick person. Outside Zaria, come quickly. Please, quick, 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 save time. Jesus is in this place doing wonders. Where are you coming from, my dear? Come. Kaduna South. You are coming from Kaduna South. Who is this? My elder sister Shazu. The devil says he's going to kill her by the September this year. They said they will kill her by September. Yes, sir. Hold it first. Hallelujah. Please come quickly. HIV, get ready. You came here with any HIV virus, get set to wait. Bye bye. It's going to go. Mama, who brought Mama? Please, if you came with any, who, who brought Mama? What's wrong with her? Uh, she's tormented with dead spirit. With what? Dead spirit. Dead spirit? Yes, for good five years. How do you, what, I don't, I, do I understand what they say? Spirit of death. Dead. How do you know a spirit of death? Because she died? She has gone several places. Oh, that's what they said. Physician. Does she speak in or how shall, which one? Yes, how, how Mama? Uh, Interpreter, Selena. Please come quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Tell her to narrate to us what is what's her problem. Truly, this is the spirit of death. Look at this. Look at how wicked the devil is. What is she Tell her the Lord will heal her totally. The Lord will heal her right now. No, come. I'll, be, I'll pray for her in English. She'll tell her in house so that she can believe and receive. Tell her to give me her hands. Mama. Can you help her, help her with this thing she's holding, please? What is this? Wait. Tell her to stand up. What's that? Goro. Oh, her leg is paining her. What is this? Who gave her? Native doctor? Is, is it a native doctor? She bought it. Eh, from where now? What is it for? Eh? What's this? Well, let's pray for her. Tell her the Lord will heal her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, thou devil of darkness, spirit of death, go out of this woman right now. Tell her she'll feel something moving around her leg to her chest. In the name of Jesus, let that fire run through your body and set you free. Tell her her legs will be strong now. And the sickness will leave. I bring you life and I set you free. Stand up. Tell her to stand up. Tell her to stand up. Tell her, let's walk. Tell her to follow me. Mama. So kibini. So kibini muche. So. mama. How is she feeling now? Yeah, kick it in. I see you. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord perfects her in the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Who brought you? You came by yourself? Ah, uh, please. You won't allow a little girl come like this without you. Please, next time, if you are bringing somebody, let's know. What? Come, come, sweetheart. Look at me. You speak English? How are you? What's wrong with you? It's my stomach. Your stomach? What's wrong with your stomach? It's paining you. It's paining you. Since when? Since on Saturday. 
since on Saturday, you love Jesus, you believe he will heal you. All right, say after me, Jesus, thank you for your healing. Say, Jesus, I believe in your power. All right, watch what happens to you now. Out. In the name of Jesus, she's free. Please give. What's wrong? I have a dislocation. Dislocation. In my thoracic lumbar spine. I use a lumbar corset. We need to start. You know, I said this doctor's thing. I think we need volunteer doctors. Eh? Who is a doctor? Or at least in 500 level. Or 600 level, for God's sake. Okay. Holy Spirit, help us. You said you have a dislocation where? My thoracic lumbar spine due to an accident. thoracic lumbar spine is part of the body. That's the most important thing. Where is it, my dear? No, 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 no. You don't need to open it. Okay. You believe Jesus will heal you right now? Do you believe it? What couldn't you do before? So many things. Like what? Give me one example. Just give me one. Okay. At times. If you are healed now. Uh, when I don't use the lumbar corset, I feel You pains. have a lumbar corset right now? Yes, on my body. Wait, without the lumbar corset, you cannot move. I can move, but I feel pain. But you feel pain. Yes. That devil is a liar. Amen. Huh? Are you ready to remove the lumbar corset? Hold my hands. You're a doctor or a brother? Eh? 600 level. Are you a doctor now? What will stop you from graduating? Come, Jaresa. So explain to us what does this really happen? Okay, she what, says why, she uh, has a dislocation. Lumbar on, what? On the thoracolumbar uh, spine. The thoracolumbar spine are the vertebras. That's the thoracic and the lumbar vertebras. Okay. Along the spinal cord. So if there's a dislocation there, it what does it do? Any dislocation there. Will why didn't you study medicine? Leave it alone. Any, All right. Any dislocation there will make her one not to bend properly. Okay. It might also make her not to walk properly. But she's using a lumbar corset now. Okay, she's using a corset. That corset is used to also correct the dislocation. Okay. That is that is medically using okay. uh, how long does medicine. it take to correct medically um it could take three months okay or sometimes six months okay almost two years you have been using for almost two years that devil is a liar look at me in the name of jesus you feel the power of god go through your body now you send something flow into your body The mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Look at me, sister. What's happening to you? What do you feel happening to you? Do you feel anything happening to you? You're healed. Remove it. Can you remove it? Not yet. You can't remove it. You are afraid. Why not? A female, we didn't mean to do it here. A female, oh, female, if you're a male, go out of that place. Remove it and come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What am I seeing with the eyes? There's somebody you are not seeing well. You are not seeing well with your eyes. Hey, God help us. Your eyes. If, if your only is a serious problem. This is not the only person. Your eyes. You? What's this? My sister. She's afflicted with um, undiagnosable disease. Undiagnosable disease? Yes, she has lumps all over her body and now she Where has she? lost her sight. She's outside Zaria. I'm it. starting a girl for her. Hold it. Lord, restore her vision right now. Perfectly in the name of Jesus. Come and stand quickly. Who and who is not seen well? Since when? 2006. Please come and stand here quickly. We are, we are 2006. 2000 and what? Six. Remove your glasses. All of you lay your hands on your eyes. 
power of God will come upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, partial or total blindness be gone. Be gone right now. Every spirit responsible, you will live by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, put down your hands, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Any improvement? Check yourself. Check yourself. Any improvement? What couldn't you see before? You couldn't see far. Like where? Still blood. You are seeing well now. Still blood. It's still blood. What of you? I can see the time. You can see the time now. What is the time? Sister, come. The lady with the lumbar corset. Follow me. Let's walk. Let's walk. Come. Let's walk. Bring the corset. Lift it up. Come. That devil is a liar. How do you feel here? You feel any improvement? Talk. Let's go. Come. Walk as fast as you can. Could you bend down before? Try bending down now. Just bend down. Up. Up, down, up, down, up, up, come, come up. Can you, can you try jumping? Do this. Look at this. Something's moving, something's changing. Look at, look at this. This is a miracle. Something's moving. This is what she brought that she was using. That devil is a liar. Something's moving. See it's blowing. Sister, you are healed and healed forever. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. My dear, could you see this time before? I always in the class, but I don't know the secret. Okay, look at me. Come. Look at the time. What is the time? Nine minutes past nine. Ten minutes past nine. Could you see that before? No, sir. Absolute healing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What again? Look at that. There is. Okay, well, you've seen the time. Aha. There's a writing there. Can you try to read it? That writing. Try. Uh huh. You can't see it very well. Okay, don't worry about the ones that are written in cursive. Can you see the one down? Am I taller than you? Come, come up. All right, see it now. Let me see what you can read. One to read. Just try to read. Don't don't be afraid. Don't worry. We'll pray for you again and again. I can see mine. Uh huh. Why my May my month of possessing divine something something. Let me pray for you. Look at me. Come out of her. You are a spirit. Out. Out. You are going. You can't stand. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost correcting her eyes. In the name of Jesus. Let us stand up and check. Okay, let me pray for you very quickly. Anyone with HIV inside or outside, please come out quickly. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. HIV, quickly. HIV, please come. We have to hurry up because the ministers must come up. We, there are lots of things we need to do. HIV, please don't be ashamed. This is a family. Nobody knows you. Come and take your healing and go back. Okay, yeah. Thank you. 
you can stand for somebody too. Go. We didn't say you are the one who has the AIDS. You can stand for somebody. Abba. Whenever you come for Koinonia, listen, let me tell you something. Don't just come. This is a family. This is not a church. Please, HIV, quickly. Either you have HIV or you are standing for someone. It doesn't matter. Quickly, HIV, HIV. Eh? Two of you, come, come quickly. Lay your hands on your eyes. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. HIV, whether for yourself, I'm not going to ask you. It doesn't matter. Please. This is past nine. We have to rush. Because everybody here must go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to lay hands on you. Whether you have it or you are standing in for someone, it doesn't matter. Ask them to go back and go for a check. For check up. HIV be healed now. 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 HIV go. You have the devil go. HIV be gone. Be gone. Make sure you go for your test. Be gone. Go. Go. Come, 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 come. come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her right now. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Go. Be gone in the name of Jesus. HIV be gone. For yourself and for the people you are standing for. Come, sweetheart. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Shabaka tara taliada. Rekate balakoso pregedibash. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Go! 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 Leave it right now in the name of Jesus. Be free. right now so we say to the way to before your presence came and Hallelujah. Now it doesn't matter what your sickness is. Please come out right now. We'll minister with the ministers. You're sick. You came here with any sickness. Please come out. No matter where you are, just come. Just come. Just come. Outside or inside. Come and stand quickly. Please, please hurry up. Just spread yourselves around. No matter how many you are, we will wait. No matter how many. This is a miracle service. Just line yourself, line yourself. Pastor Jakes, Bishop, Pastor Williams, please. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, everybody. If there is no space, stand. We must pray for you. Can't go back to the way you went to me. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Even if you are at second equa, still come. Don't let the devil stop you. We came here for you. If there is no space, stand there. As they are praying for others, if you are here, go back to your seat. If you are outside, 
Ushers, help them. They take this role. Listen, listen. As hands come on you, while you are here, be praying. Are you listening to me? The moment hands are laid on you, some of you demons will come out. Some of you, you will be healed. When that happens, as you walk back to your seat, check yourself. Sorry, we don't have time to be taking testimonies. The time is not enough. Hallelujah. One day we'll try and make miracle service a night vigil in Jesus' name. So that we can have time to minister. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for you. Hallelujah. We have the one-time president of FCS before in our midst, Pastor Kenny. Please celebrate him. Sir, please, you can come and join us. Hallelujah. You can come and join us as we pray. Hallelujah. Please, spread yourselves. Don't just come and say it's me you want to talk. It doesn't matter who touches you. I tell you, while you are here, if I were you, don't just stand watching. Uh -uh. Say, Lord, this is it, oh. This is it. I came for my healing. I came for my deliverance. And that must happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Worshippers, are you ready? Please, let the atmosphere be charged. Those of you who are sitting, make sure you are praying and connect. You may not be sick in your body, but there are areas of your life. Just be patient and let us minister. In Jesus' name, sir. Go, go, go. In the name of Jesus, your healing comes. Whoever you are standing for is done in Jesus' name. Okay. As we pray for you, please just go back. It's the power of God. Heal, heal. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Jesus, shataka balada bakaria. Go. You are healed. Let the river flow. Let the oh. river flow Let the river flow Go. And refresh my come soul out. Come out, come out Fire upon you Let the river flow The fire of the Holy Ghost is in this place be healed. It doesn't matter what the sickness is. Fire. Sheka. Karia. So peleta. So peleta. Shaka. Karia. And refresh my soul. Shaka. Tawa. Ladabash. Say. Don't let the river flow. Heal. For you. Healing water of life. Heal.
healed in the name of Jesus. Healed in the name of Jesus. As blowing no the fire of the Holy Ghost. We are just laying hands. Everything are you listening to me? Miracles are happening. Everything for some of you, you are coming for sickness. But it's beyond sickness. What is happening to you? For me. Out. Everything Come out. Has Fire upon you. Fire upon Nothing you. Nothing is the same. Everything has Come out, come out. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out, fire upon you right now. Fire upon you, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going from your feet to your hair. Fire upon you right now, in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Out of her right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Take your sickness and go. In the name of Jesus. Deliverances are happening here. Miracles are happening. Don't worry, the fire of God is on her. I'm still with Everything you. Everything has changed. Nothing is the same. Everything has changed. For me. Come out, come out, come out. Everything has changed. Nothing in the same. Shut up, shut up, everything is changed. Shut up, shut up, shut up, everything is changed. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut Come, 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 come. Those of you there, please come, come, find your way. There's enough space hey, in the front. Everything has changed. In the name of Jesus. Everything. Be healed. Out of him. Come out of him. Everything. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of him. Out. Fire on you. Everything. Fire on you. Fire on you. Fire on you. Will sing no other name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. My heart will sing, my heart will sing no other Heal. name. Whatever the Jesus. No other name. I say Jesus. We call you Jesus. I say my heart will sing. No other name. Jesus. Jesus. My heart will sing. Yeah. 
Come out of her. This is where light stands against darkness. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Come out of her. Come out, out, go. Hallelujah. Lost the saved, find a way. At the sound of your great name, out, come out, go, go, out. At the sound yeah, of your great name, come out, come out. The enemy, he has to flee. Of your great name, seek a kill and dead array. Come out, come out, come out. Your destiny must open up. Come out, come out, Jesus. Worthy is the land that was slain. Come out! 
Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. He made her to break her hand. This evil spirit. That hand is getting healed. Come out. Come out. Go. Go. free right now just leave her Don't touch her.
out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now in the name of Jesus. What kind of noisy demons? These days, demons are becoming so noisy. Go, go. Huh? Come for Koinonia. The demons are even making noise more than the people. Ah, this is my lady. Look at, since, because we didn't release this girl, she has been lying down here. Can you imagine? Ah, ah. Sister, you will remain here. <laughs> free in Jesus name you are free this is a man I'm seeing this is not a woman this is a man you want to hold my shoes hold it hold it hold it don't worry hold it they are shoes of fire don't worry just hold it it will burn you for nothing. Don't worry. He makes his angels, spirits and his ministers. Everything you touch is fire. It burns you. The other person I'm looking for. Come back now. Now it will burn you. This fire will burn you. You don't know what you are. Look at this lady is arming herself for nothing. Come back. Why did you hold my legs? She can't cross. Don't worry. There are angels. She will come back with the same speed she went under the influence of the spirit. It's time for you to go. In the name of Jesus. Don't worry, everybody. We are going to pray. Just be patient everyone just leave her alone she will come it's the force of the holy ghost it will pick her from where she is and she will come the same thing happened to this lady this is not trial and error this is the spirit at work this is not about displaying jamboree no we are very serious people just leave her she can't stand up from here remove ushers don't worry leave her leave her she can't stand up she will not be able to stand up from here. Stand up if you can. Just stand up if you can. If you can stand up, stand up. We have to hurry up. This thing's waste. Just leave her. Leave her. She can't stand up. No. Impossible. Did you bring your prayer requests? Prayer request. Everybody pass your prayer request to the person at the last, at the end. Please, let's hurry up quickly. Come back here. Come back here. Just leave her. Come, come and stand here. Now come and stand here. Come and stand here. Please pass your prayer request quickly. Come out now. Come out of her. Pass, pass your prayer request. 
Please hurry up, pass your prayer request. In the presence of angels, with God's glory on the wings, like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, 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 holy. You are holy, holy, holy. Please, everybody, stand up. Stand up, please, inside and outside. Ushers, hurry up, please. If you have not written those on Facebook and those on the internet, all those streaming online, please, they can be part of it. We have a God that answers prayers. Please hurry up, hurry up, ushers. If you've not written, just scramble it quickly. Please, one minute. You can see that we're out of time. Honestly, the time is, is just not enough. But God is faithful. God will still do what he will do. Sister, it's time to sleep. It's time to sleep. Quickly, 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 please. glorious outside are there ushers helping out who is here to a miracle walk. you are a miracle walker God is a glorious God. God is you are a, a miracle, miracle walker. please quickly God quickly is You are a glorious God. God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. Now, the revelation behind writing prayer requests, listen please, and bringing it here. The Bible says in the days of Hezekiah, that they wrote a letter there was a situation that threatened him and the bible says he took it to the temple before the altar and he laid it before god and told god what it was and god solved the problem so that's the spiritual revelation behind what you are doing hallelujah let me invite the minister sir we have a god that answers prayers pastor sam as we pray on this, I'd like you to stretch your hands. If you are outside, just stretch your hands to the screen. If you are outside, stretch your hands to the screen. We have received countless testimonies. Please, ushers, if there are still people, very quickly. Very quickly. Those online, let them know that we are with them in the spirit. Everyone begin to pray in tongues. Everyone begin to pray in tongues. Shebrekete kalabarada rada 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 ba, zaprata kalabarada balada bash, rakata prakata balada bash, zaprata kata prakata pakata, 
Lord, solve problems, break burdens in the name of Jesus upon this altar. We present this before you. Turn these prayer points to testimonies, O oh God. Lord, move on behalf of your people from all over the nations and online. There are people trusting you for miracles. Lord Jesus, honor these requests by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be miracles, oh God, for the sake of your son Jesus. You have made this place a place of sign and wonders. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call for miracle jobs. We cause doors to be opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bring healing and deliverance to families. Let there be financial breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call for health in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every high blood pressure case goes down. Those that trust in God to heal the needs of their loved ones, their mothers specifically. The Lord touches them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord brings a breakthrough in your academics in the name of Jesus. For every prayer point here, the breath of God goes upon it in the name of Jesus. We release healings from the four corners of the earth. Breakthroughs and blessings. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Let the windows of heaven be opened in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. We pray. Give Jesus praise for this request. Everybody stand up as I prophesy to you. Hallelujah. Please. The Bible says, can these bones live again? You say, only down no west. I tell you, in this whole miracle service, this is the part that I love best. Where we begin, because this is where the creative power of God moves in like an arrow to just meet situations. Hallelujah. As I make these prophetic declarations under the anointing, I'd like you to shout Amen. Amen means let it be so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Those outside, make sure you participate. All of you lift your hands above your head. Say, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord, I come as only one sent with no ability of myself. I command right now every door that is closed over your destiny, let it be opened right now. Be open right now. Be open right now. Be open right now. Be open right now. Every closed door, I command it, be open right now. Every situation in your life that is more than your ability, you have prayed, you have fasted. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I command those mountains, be leveled right now. Be leveled right now. Be leveled right now. Be leveled right now. Every yoke of bondage, over any family here I'm speaking to families right now because I see ancient doors with chains right now 
every chain over every family wherever they are in the name of Jesus chains be broken 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 hallelujah every yoke and every cause of poverty oh you need to lift your hands for this over your life your loved ones and your family every chain of financial bondage under this anointing tonight that yoke be broken in the name of Jesus financial doors open financial doors open financial doors open doors of contracts doors of opportunities doors of breakthrough doors of breakthrough financial doors no power will stop you no demon will stop it hallelujah can I prophesy to students here lift your hands every curse every ordinance he told Job he said in six things shall you be delivered yes seven things one of it is the scorching of the tongues every curse of mental blockage the power of God will fall on a lot of people on this every cause shut -ta -ta -ta. be free be free be free I release you from academic prisons come out of academic prisons come out of academic prisons come out come out come out the cause of carryovers the cause of carryovers let it be broken now let it be broken now Haya. I tell you mighty things are happening inside and outside all those long overdue for admission whatever is holding you shata boso peke reketa I cause it right now in the name of Jesus final year students do we have final year students here yeah. in the name that is above all names every pharaoh that said you will not graduate this night i prophesy to you these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever we graduate you in this place we change policies in faculties in departments emergency meetings be held for your sake let causes be waived in the name of Jesus anyone script that is missing in this place any missing script the Bible says and the donkey of Kish the father of Saul was missing. The Bible says the prophet told Saul, he said, go back for the ass has been found. I prophesy to you, that script be found now. Let the angels of restoration go to every department, every faculty. Hallelujah. 
Alléluia. Alléluia. The Bible says, And Elijah told Ahas, Saddle your ass and run, for I hear my spirit, the sound of the abundance of rain. And the Bible says, Elijah Ahas had gone ahead of Elijah. Elijah seemed to be retrogressing. And then he kept praying. The Bible says, Suddenly, the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He guarded his loins and used his feet. I command right now, Shata Kata. You will run like Elijah. Let the hand of God come upon you. In 2013, run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Restoration. Restoration. Advancement. Restoration. Advancement. Hallelujah. There is a plot of darkness. Listen. Over vessels that carry the anointing of God. The rate at which anointed men are compromising on spiritual things. From immorality to all kinds of case of scandal. Especially immorality. This is an ongoing plot. Because every time you represent something to the body. The devil will try to make you a victim of your message. Right now I pray. Katabalataria. And the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times. This is a plot. Some of you are already falling victims of it. You carry ladies to your room and you are laughing. You are just sitting there. You are dressing loosely and carelessly. They are also dressing loosely and carelessly. And you are laughing. You don't know it's a plot to throw you. He says she has cast down many. Yea, mighty men have been thrown by her. He said her ways are the ways of death. Lift your hands. That spirit that wants to throw mighty men, I put a seal of the blood upon you. It will pass over you. I command that devil of immorality and for married people, adultery and unfaithfulness. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of genuine holiness return to the body. He said, for who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand? Listen, young men, let me warn you. Be careful. Any man can fall at any level. Don't let the devil deceive you. Some of you are already becoming careless with your life because of little anointing here. Don't let any mentor or father or anybody deceive you. You must maintain a heart of inadequacy before God. The moment you sense that every time I go to God, I cry. I say, Lord, is it is there seed of lust in my life? Or I don't say I'm an apostle or man of God. If let me tell you, the Bible says, He who hides his sins will not prosper. Many of you don't know the reason why some people rise in anointing later, they just keep quiet. It always starts in the secret. But whatever is happening in the secret will not stand for too long. It must speak. Samson slept with Delilah. Who knew? But one day his eyes came out and it was a sign. I pray. I pray. Some of you who have been taught messages that are not consistent. I'm not condemning your church. But there is a plot to dethrone mighty men. Mighty men are falling like chickens. We do not condemn them, but you must be warned. Are you listening to me? Say in the name of Jesus. I receive the spirit of holiness. The spirit of purity. I mortify my body. Shatakapa as an instrument of righteousness. Sin cannot have power over my body every habit in this place masturbation pornography what again reading 
useless magazines that don't have the word of God don't say it does not matter let me tell you ungodly music that does not carry the presence of God right now in the name of Jesus that appetite I take it out of your life forever I take it out of your life forever ladies only ladies lift your hands any guy who is already in your life or is about to come to your life and is a plot of darkness to rob you of your prophetic death bring that lady because that's our problem that's the spirit speaking bring that lady right now in the name of Jesus I break that relationship from the realm of the spirit that guy will leave this girl I break it from the realm of the spirit I break it right now from the realm of the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus out <laughs> out in the name of Jesus go go hallelujah I want to pray for favor lift your hands some of you have struggled you have done all you know to do I tell you listen favor is one of the anointings God has blessed us with in this ministry you don't need to you don't need to have eyes to see that what is happening is the favor of God I want to release it upon you father higher shatter Madada Brekete. Lord, are these not your people? Have you not brought them to favor them? Right now, let the oil of favor from this building right to the end outside. Let the anointing for favor move across this building now. Move across this building now. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it. The favor anointing, shake it, take a lie. Be distinguished. I place a mark upon you. Be distinguished. Now look at me. Lift your hands. Every cycle of late marriages, lift your hands, please. Because that's why some of you are here. There's no need to be ashamed. There are some of you that are supposed to be married. Every cycle. Especially for those of you who is not only you. Look at me. Look at. Come here. Come and sit down here. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come now. Come and sit down here. Just leave her alone. Come and sit down right here and be quiet. You will do it right now. Are tired of unnecessary noise. Leave her. She will come and sit down. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. We have to hurry up. It's past 10. I command right now. Every voice that is speaking against the marital destiny of people here. You are beautiful. But no man will come to ask you out. You are responsible. Right now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command marriages. Receive it supernatural marriages. Before the end of 2013. For you and your loved ones. I establish it. In the realm of the spirit. Now I pray against accidents. I put a mark. Of protection upon you. No demon power will be able to cause you to die either from accident, sickness, or any act of terrorism in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
any armed robber or assassin coming to your house or your parents' house, they will die before they get there. Any property that has been stolen in your house or in your life, I command it to be returned. I command it to be returned. I command it to be returned. Everything that has killed your prayer life, lift your hands. This is where the whole problem starts from. Everything that has destroyed your world life, the passion for the things of the spirit, right now, that dry bone from the realm of the spirit, oh, this will come like an impartation. My God, I pray like a winnowing fork that is uprooting evil. I rekindle the fire upon every altar. Prayer fire. Prayer fire. Prayer fire. Prayer fire. What fire? What fire? What fire? What fire? Prayer fire. Hallelujah. Now I want to impart the gift of the Spirit. Please lift your hands. For the gift of the Spirit are given to profit with her. This will be the final thing I will do and then we will take the altar call. Gifts of the Spirit. Some of you came here, especially those who are pastors who came here. You mustn't see me to receive. On behalf of yourself and your ministries. Look up. It takes humility for the glory of God to grow in your life. The anointing can be charismatic. It can be attractive. But you need to be humble. I'm going to pray. Lift your hands. I'm just going to pray in tongues for one minute. And there will be a mighty demonstration of the spirit. You will need to receive it. Please. You will need to receive it. I would like to hear the sound of the cymbal as I begin. I'll just pray in tongues. And different, if God leaves me, I'll mention them. But please, those outside, it will come like a mighty wave. This is where the Holy Ghost finds expression. Lift your hands. Mareko shoseke rebo sopriata masaka tele koriata so 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 ke te 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 so pariata mabaka te 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 gifts of prophecy gifts of healing take it take it take it take it gifts of healing take it prophetic gifts take it take it word of knowledge take it take it word of wisdom take it gift of faith let it fall on you gift of faith gift of faith descending of spirits gifts of administration and leadership receive it receive it administration leadership take it take it Take it, take it, take it. The working of miracles, the working of miracles. Take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory. Now, look at me. All of you have seen the things that God is doing in this place. You have experienced the hand of God in a mighty and an unusual way. 
Look at me. There are many of you tonight. God is calling you. Listen. Inside and outside. Some of you have never taken God seriously. He can change your life. You don't have to continue living the way you are. Hallelujah. You have seen what God can do. You can see that Satan is the one behind these things. I'm going to make an altar call right now. There are many of you outside. You came either because you were invited or you were told you would come and see the demonstration of the spirit. But the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him. Many of you have journeyed. Tonight, find rest. Jesus is calling. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, or you have once given your heart to the Lord, but you backslid it because of the cares of the life, of this life, we show you love tonight. Please, everybody stand. This is the greatest miracle. I'm going to count one to ten. I want you to run. No matter how far you are outside, please don't let anybody stop you inside here. i like you to run and come and kneel down here. I'll just count one to ten. Please don't stay back. One. Start running. Clap for them, everybody. Start running. I didn't say walk. Run. 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 Come and kneel down here. Two. Don't sit back. Three. Thank you. Young and old. Run and come. Four. Run to Jesus. Five. Six. That devil is a liar. Don't wait till 10 is counted. No matter how far you are outside, you can run. Don't be ashamed. Seven. Don't lose this opportunity because of your friends. There are some of you seated outside. God wants to give you a new life. My brother, my sister. Eight. There are two more counts and we are out. Nine. Ten. Hallelujah. Now all of you here, thank you for not being ashamed. This is a family. Lift both of your hands high to Jesus Christ. In a way you will never forget. Say this after me. This is not a special number. It's the prayer. The greatest prayer. I want you to shout it. Let the devil hear you say it. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I accept that I'm a sinner. Unable to help myself. But today, I come to you with an open heart. I ask you to forgive me cleanse me with your blood give me a new beginning I denounce sin and Satan I declare according to your word that I'm born again Jesus is Lord of my life Holy Spirit come and live in me the power of sin the power of Satan is broken in my life from today forward ever backward never in the name of Jesus can you celebrate them everybody please look at me thank you so much for making this brilliant decision daddy you can put down your hands sir. thank you for this decision this is the best decision you would have made now we are going to follow you up get you filled with the Holy Spirit and teach you certain foundational truths hallelujah you're going to have a special meeting with Pastor Jakes. Sir, when? Okay. On Sunday, hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will not be around tomorrow. He's ministering in the conference. So, Sunday. What time, sir? Four. 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 Please, Sunday, four on the dot. Just be around chapel. Just close to the chapel book stand there. And Pastor Jakes will come. And he will talk with you. Hallelujah. Thank you for this great decision. Please follow the ushers. They will have your details and you'll be back. Celebrate them, everybody. I'm 
sorry we are so out of time now you are worshipping with us for the first time please all of you come in and come and stand here we have a prayer for you we are rounding up this is your first time coming on here give them a big big God bless you we love you God brought you no matter where you are please let me pray for you give me the opportunity to speak over your life quickly 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 please there are so many people coming on here keep clapping Thank you for coming. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Koinonia, are you seeing what God is doing here? Bring them. Bring them. Come. Please come. Quickly. I have a prayer for you. Don't go without receiving it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. The Lord brought you by his spirit. This is Koinonia. Meeting put together by Eternity Network International. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday celebrating the awesome things that God is doing. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. Never. You will go back. Your priorities will change. Your values will change. Your passions will change. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for you. Everyone in this house is anointed. And I tell you, as we speak over your life, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray over them. Prophesy over their lives. We call you blessed in the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you testimonies. You will go back and meet open doors. We bless you with a hunger for the Holy Spirit. A hunger for the word of God. A hunger for the life of prayer. We command financial breakthroughs. We command breakthroughs on all sides. The devil has no power over your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. We'd like to see you again and again. We pray that the Lord will bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye